So I'm going to be using my best Pullum Yacht 7.62 class setup here in Modern Warfare 3 today. And it's going to be featuring a lot of attachments that I haven't actually used that. I did some experimentation with the conversion kit. And let's just say... I think I did a pretty good job. Overall, LMGs aren't necessarily my cup of tea, but when you add some attachments like the conversion kit to make it a little faster pace, I definitely do enjoy them just a little more. Let's get into the attachments. So as I mentioned in the intro, we are using the conversion kit today, the Jack Annihilator Bullet bullpup kit which is going to give you a large increase to handling and mobility rate of fire hip fire and tax stance spread along with aim down sight speed which is why i think i'm probably going to be using the conversion kit from here on out on the pull me out 762 the other one is very good for like long range fights or slower rate slower paced players but personally not really my cup of tea now i am using an optic on this build it's not 100 necessary but i personally really like to use an optic just because i find that it's i don't know the iron sights are just too enclosed together to where i can't actually see my targets especially with the visceral recoil on the weapon you don't necessarily have to go with an optic here you can take it off or you can go with a different one if you want but just my personal preference now for a stock we're going to have the command d15 recoil reduction pad which is going to give you an increase to gun kit control fire aiming stability and recoil control now technically the conversion kit does help you with mobility and handling but it definitely does not help your case in the form of recoil control so looking at it here we're going to gain 21.3 percent towards the gun kit control then we get 6.3 percent towards the horizontal recoil control and then 11.3% towards vertical recoil control. So overall, just going to help you with your farther range fights here. Now for a barrel, we're going to have the Jack Annihilator long barrel to increase your bullet velocity and damage range. If I remember correctly, it does take away damage range when you use the conversion kit. But what this is going to do is increase it 34%, bringing it up to 30 meters, along with your minimum damage range to 59 meters. And then our bullet velocity is now at 895.7 meters per second. So I was actually about to head over to our next attachment, and I completely forgot to mention this. When you run the conversion kit, it doesn't actually take away overall damage. You're going to have the same damage as before, meaning your headshot damage is at 54. Your upper torso is at 49 and your lower torso is at 45, meaning you still get to maintain the very high damage assets of the original Pulmia 762 while using the conversion kit. And the last attachment is going to be a muzzle here with the Sake and Tread 40. That's going to give you gun kick control, vertical recoil control, and horizontal recoil control. It is going to take away some of that aim down sight speed that we gained, but I personally feel like this attachment is necessary in order to take medium and longer range fights a little easier. And this does a very good job when we look at it here. You can see 22.7% to the gun kick control, 12.9% to the horizontal recoil control, and 22.7% to the vertical recoil control. So my original plan was to kind of turn all the LMGs into assault rifles, kind of like what I did with the TAC Eradicator, and I also plan on doing it with the Holger 26. With this weapon, it just wasn't really possible. When you kind of go with more mobility type attachments, the recoil becomes a bit uncontrollable. So unfortunately, I can't do it, but I still ended up making a very good build that I actually really enjoy using. So there's that. Now there's the rest of the loadout. If you guys were looking to copy that down, as you can see, we have scavenger gloves, tactical pads, mag holster. The mag holster is basically fast and it may help you reload quicker. So I'm sure if you use an LMG, it's ridiculously slow. You can swap that out for EOD padding if you want. But again, there's the rest of the loadout. If you guys wanted to copy it down, we got a couple of gameplays for you guys to best feature this weapon. You can see what it's all about. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always. Hope you guys enjoy. So they apparently did a spawn update to make spawns better in season one. But I think they missed the memo on Rust because I'm convinced they've gotten worse. I have been trying my absolute hardest to fathom and figure out what the heck they were thinking with these ones because i tell you what ain't no way ain't no way these spawns have gotten better i've played a lot of games and i tell you what they do not feel like they've gotten better i have people spawning in front of me and people spawning behind me it's just not not the case i don't believe it Oh, whoever that was just absolutely rocked me, actually. That hit me hard. They keep coming back for revenge, though. I got one kill here for my advanced UAV. EMP. 
You gonna peek? All right, let's get the MP out. Let's get the advanced UAV out. All right, the spawns have have uh have worked so far. They haven't been so bad as of right now. Pay attention to the flip. I'm out of bullets. That's not good. Another one. I feel like I don't, I feel like I shouldn't be on a brutal here. I'm confused. That hurt. That really hurt. I'm too scared to hit the swarm while I'm on a nuke streak like this. And it's quite simple. The swarm will kill me, but now I'm not so worried. And there's your spawns actually. Spawn right behind, yep, right behind me. This is really the only map I, I use this weapon on though, to be honest. I don't know why, I probably could use it on other ones. Sit. The swarm just decides that that's where it wants to kill me, but it is going insane. Holy smoke. What, 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 what is happening? See what I mean? Okay, I'm glad you guys are seeing this in live action. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that should, I, no, no. No way that they should spawn there. Well, that makes no sense. It's doing it again. It's doing it again. Like what? Like what? I'm gonna, I don't even know where to look. How am I supposed to predict this? How am I supposed to predict this? What, like, come on. They missed the memo on the map? What happened, dude? Like, it can't be that, like, atrocious to figure out spawns. I'm so confused. This is some decision making at its finest. So I get some of the spawns on the other maps are better. Like I'll, I'll give them that much credit. They are better, but like, look at this. I'm literally standing there looking there and they just straight up spawn. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. How am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? Oh, this is comedy. I'm actually like dying of laughter. <laughs> like this, you just, it's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. I think it's funny, but at the same time, no way. No way can this happen, dude. There's so much open space for them to just straight up spawn on top of me. You can't convince me that <laughs> they can't figure it out, man. This has got to be one of their priorities for sure. No way. Are they gonna stay spawning there? I don't even know. Oh. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, that's a spawn. This actually may be one of those scenarios where I do do a second game. Just because this one's kind of flying by here. It depends. I mean, we're it's about a seven minute recording right now. And now they're spawning in front of me again. I mean, I, I feel bad for them because 
How does that make any sense, you know? That hurts. It's a good thing I got my nuke, too, because I tell you what, no way. No way would I have gotten it in a lot of other scenarios. The thing is, is like I'm genuinely scared to move because if I move, they spawn in front of me, right? Like that's just how she works. I mean, this should give me a little sense of security. Not much though. I kind of want them to push the hill here. I want the hundred bomb. And I know if I get my swarm, it's probably gonna end the game. Yeah, my teammates are not going to let them uh, get on it. So I had to hit. Oh, I could have. I could have held it. I could have held it. I did get the hunter bomb, but that was pretty quick. I actually think I am going to do a second game of sorts with that one because there's going to be some editing mixed in in there so game number two on a map i haven't actually put on the channel let's run down let's f around and find out i don't i actually don't know if i genuinely enjoy this map i remember playing it once i remember there was a bunch of windows and i immediately said yeah i'm good like i don't even know what the flow of this map is like i was just like yeah i'm good basically i'm gonna try to just Rotate around the hard point, I guess, is going to be my best, like, way to navigate this map because it's pretty big. Now I'm going to go out on an... Oh. I was going to say I'm going to go out and assume that's where they're spawning, and boy, was I right. They were 100% spawning there. I have no expectations for this game number two other than play the game and find out if this is another map I can add to my arsenal. As of right now, it seems to be okay doesn't it's not playing anything crazy but it just doesn't seem very fast that is a guy that smoke there made it seem like there wasn't a guy there now here's the thing you, you get a kill in one place you got to make sure you move you don't want to stay in the same place after picking up a couple of kills people always ask me how do you predict spawn so hi how do you go on streaks? Stuff like that. It's pretty simple. Number one, if there's an objective, play around that objective. Number two, if you're going to get kills, make sure you're not sitting in the same place over and over again trying to get those kills. Basically, this whole map and this whole thing is going to be an experiment on, like I said, if I can add this to my arsenal of maps I want to play. So far, it's playing a little slow, and I'm not a fan of low gameplay. Because, like, look, they're all the way over there, and that's not a map I have this gun built out for or a map this isn't a build that i can take those kinds of gunfights with is there a window here or something that i can chow them there's one you see what i mean by i it's about what i expected from the first time i played the map there's a guy there it, it's so many windows so many windows So many long range sight lines, which I guess it's could be some people's cup of tea, but not mine. Like this guy's not moving and unless I push him. He's not going to move all game. So we're going to do that. We're going to get up in this guy's face. I have my pistol ready. Going to get some ammo and we're running at him because I'm not I'm not playing this game where you're going to think you're going to camp on me all game. No, 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 no. We don't do that. He just disappeared off the map, which means he has ghosts, too. Double claymore up, dude. Double claymore up. 120 points in when you add it up. It's just the map doesn't play fast enough for me to really want to give it the time of day. One dead. They are still over here, teammate. Changing mag. And as you guys just saw, there was a guy in that window there. Well, that's a start. That is a start. Am I gonna get I'm about to ask, am I gonna get screwed here? The answer is probably. Wait, they're spawning on me. 
I don't care about the streak at the moment. I got the swarm. I haven't nuked the map though. So we're gonna try to do that. I hear a guy on me. Yep. Requesting recon, fly over. What's this guy doing? Is there a a building in here? Oh my goodness, there is. Dude, I am losing my mind playing this map. Okay. Is this guy, oh, right there. About to ask if there's a window right there or something, but not a window, but yeah, this map's too big. It's too big for me to want to dip into my rotation for. It just isn't worth it. I think it would be better suited for secondary gameplays, I guess, kind of like this, where if you guys want to see it, we play it kind of thing. Oh, nice wall bang with no more UAV. I'm kind of scared. He just jump shotted me, brother. I need one kill. MGB. Well, I've now nuked Rundown. There's not that many le maps left on my journey to nuking every map. I will say it's n it wasn't that hard to nuke. Fundamentally, bigger maps aren't harder to nuke. It's just one of those situations where you basically have one chance of doing it. If you don't get it on the first go, you're probably not gonna get it, is basically how that works. Of course, my swarm's the one that kills me off my street. I'm getting spawn trapped by my swarm. Can I jump on this? No. How do I get out of here, brother? This is a weird place for it to spawn me. Oh, we got him. That's the camper. Okay. Well, it's about nuki time. They are on the hill for now. It's so a little bit more time, but 44 kills. You know, what I, mean? I guess I've, I've I've actually had less kills in some gameplays before, but it's just not fast enough. All right, team's on the hill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit the nuke. 47 kills. I didn't touch a single second of hill time. That's gonna do it. Of course, they're right there, too. The second I push back here, the nuke puts us over 50 kills. Quick little second game on rundown. Check it off the list. I think I need derail and invasion. I'd have to quarry. I know that. I think that might be it, but I'm going to check. I feel like there's some other maps I might be missing on the nuke chart.